Malaysia's former Prime Minister Najib Razak is expected to face five trials. This one could be the most significant. It involves more than half a billion dollars linked to a one MBD state fund that allegedly ended up in his bank account. In this case, he faces 25 counts of money laundering and abuse of power. Uh, none of the people who are charged of corruption of the old regime, none of them has, uh, has been put in jail and people are waiting to see whether this government can deliver the promises they made in the last election, which is to make sure that Najib and people around him will go to jail over this uh, massive corruption. Corruption allegations have been weighing on Ajib and his inner circle for years. As Prime Minister, he set up the State Investment Fund in 2009 to stimulate Malaysia's economy. But eventually, it amassed billions in debt. And now the United States and other countries are looking into alleged cross-border embezzlement. In 2016, Najib was cleared of criminal activity after $10 million were reportedly funneled to his personal account. He denied any wrongdoing, saying the funds were a donation from the Saudi royal family. But other charges followed. The trials are largely seen as a test on the country's political transparency. Malaysia's current prime minister, Mahathir Mohamad, has promised to crack down on corruption and to pursue all charges against the former leader. Najib's legal team insists the accusations are politically motivated and baseless. While the political career of the former prime minister is over, the focus now shifts to his fate in court. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.